politics we steer clear of for that reason. We didn't want to be political. Could have been. Um, that wouldn't have worked because it would have caused a lot of animosity, we feel, towards us. But so politics were out. Uh, trusting people was out. So we just steadily plodded on. We had three meetings, as you know, early on. And then it was, as we found out, eventually due process, which we didn't understand. No matter how many times we asked for a meeting, to ask what was going on, it was, there's nothing to tell you, there's nothing to tell you. And it was very, very, very frustrating not to be able to get information. Um, we were told that they were talking to different agencies, trying to sort something out. St Modwin are still here, we don't know what's going to happen, things are difficult, when we have something we will tell you, no, you don't tell us. You come and talk to us. We don't want you telling us anything. We want you to talk to us. And we decide together. We want to know what you're talking about. Mm. But we didn't get to know what they were talking about until the decision was made. And we were told a report was going to Cabinet um, in December of 2011. Mm. Uh, and along I went. To hear what this report was and it we were told it would be a decision we knew it would be a decision and the decision was a complete return no demolition this is i am so so pleased with this i can't tell you i knew it would be transformed but to this extent yeah no i'm telling to thrill that they're so thrilled with it I know. The reason the the wooden rail was left red Can in the middle bit, bit was the was because it's wood. Right. And the clerk of work I did ask and the clerk of work said um, we don't want to paint the wood yellow. It's perfectly good. If it was rotted, it's a different matter and could replace it. But leave it red. All the wood is red. Leave that as the red. And so it's red. We brought our two small boys up here and it was a better life. It was countryside, it was green, it was everything the city wasn't. We thought we were doing the right thing. I think we did the right thing for myself and my husband and for the children when they were young. But as they grew up, there was nothing for them to do. Yeah, th there's, there is a need for more council houses, obviously. And there are still two and a half thousand people are on the waiting list for Skelmersdale alone. <laughs> so, yeah, there is a need. And I think uh, we have got small pockets where houses can be built. Tenants have different eyes. Mm. I believe they are. I believe they got the respect now that was never there or in very small portions. It wasn't dragged out of them. It came gradually, but it's there. And that's the best thing about it.